Hey, Andy Tuttle here with the Tuttle Group, another market update. But before I get into all the details, I do want to remind you of a story I've told you before about cows and buffaloes. Remember, in the plains of Colorado, cows and buffaloes uh, can be seen roaming together. They both sense storms coming, but they act very differently to those storms. The cows run away from the storm, and uh, as a result, they get caught in it more, and many of them die, because especially if it's really cold right in the storm. But the buffaloes run into the storm, and they take the herd with them. So as a result, they get out of it quicker, and they save the herd. So as we go over the details, not only this week, but in the next several weeks, and there's storm, we are coming into a storm, we're in a storm remember, be the buffalo. All right. A lot of news. Stocks, they bounce back after a rough week last week. And uh, historically, September, bad news. It's usually a rough month for stocks. However, that typically bodes well for mortgage interest rates. And if we look at the chocks, uh, charts on the stock markets, they're due for some pain over the next couple of months. But again, positive news is it's good for mortgage interest rates if you're looking to buy uh, a home right now. Uh, the the Fed is about to embark on their Fed rate cutting cycle starts next week, September 18th. The only question is, how much are they going to cut the rate? We already know they're going to cut it. Is it going to be a quarter percent or a half percent, right? Remember, the labor market it has a lot of influence on what the Fed is going to do. And we got some more clues last week on the jobs report. So last Friday's jobs report, as projected, came in weak. Right. And also there were a lot of negative revisions to uh, June and July. Those were both revised much lower. And August numbers came in only at 142,000 jobs before any negative revisions were applied. That won't happen until next month for the August report. The only bright spot, uh, if there is one, was the headline number of unemployment, which dropped from 4.3 percent to 4.2 percent. Uh, media was like, yeah, see, unemployment rate drop. That's great. Well, here's the, the reality on that is that the um, unemployment rate went from 4.25% to 4.22%. So it only dropped three one hundredths of a percent. It's a rounding error, basically, that makes it look bigger than it is. So it shows continued weakness in the labor market. But again, that does bode well for interest rates. So if you're trying to time a lock, you're getting close to the end of a build job being complete. Um, this is helpful news to know when to lock in. If your lender isn't watching it every day, hey, this is a good time to lock. Uh, protect your gains that you've made in the recent rally. Uh, if we're monitoring it, we're monitoring it daily. We are still in a floating position. We want to ride this rally a little bit longer into the Fed report with a finger um, to be able to lock as quickly as we need to if the market turns uh, south. So I hope that educating you on this, uh, going into what the market is, helping you understand what influences mortgage interest rates, helps you become better prepared to make smart decisions when you're buying or selling your home, or you're considering a refinance, whatever it is, I hope it's helpful for you. But I'll say what, to you what I say every week. If you haven't updated your pre-approval or got one recently and got on the fast track, do that now. Get off already so you don't lose out on your dream home. Get a great top producing realtor that's awesome at negotiations and help you get the deal right for you, the right home, the right price. And if you're considering you know, whether it makes sense to refinance, maybe you know, pay off some higher interest rate debt, whatever it is, go to loanwellnesscheck.com, call us, text us. We can get you a target rate for a refinance, run a debt consolidation analysis. We can do a lot of things for you there at the Tuttle Group. Regardless, I just want you to know that we're, we're in your corner. We're your friends at home finance, and we're never more than a phone call away if you need us. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Let us know how we can help you. Good luck out there. And until next time, be the buffalo. We'll see you.